cells and you can see that the, the little dots. I'd just like to start by saying how pleased we are um, to have been able to grow this virus in a very short space of time um, f directly from a patient sample and that's an art and I guess Julian is the artist who you'll possibly hear about um, on the technical detail but much more importantly um, that we've moved immediately to share this with our um, international colleagues to provide a toolkit um, that complements the modern molecular techniques that are so useful in diagnosis and development of vaccines and medicines. The virus can be used in the assessment of the effectiveness of vaccines particularly and of medicines. It also gives us the opportunity to create a first generation antibody test um, and that's important both in the clinical management of patients who may be late in the illness and past the point where they're shedding um, the virus that we detect with molecular techniques and it's also really important for us to look at um, things like uh, asymptomatic infection with the virus, that possibility, or, um, sub or mild infection that hasn't come to um, the attention of health authorities and those patients haven't been tested and identified as cases. So really an antibody test is the only way to answer some of those important epidemiological questions which get you to questions of how many cases and how does the number of deaths relate to the number of cases um, that you're seeing on the ground. And then the next thing we do is to um, then ampule up, and this is Julian's territory more than mine, um, ampule up the virus itself um, for sharing with expert laboratories that are recommended to us by the World Health Organization as the first internationally with which the virus could be shared. So we'll, we'll work closely with WHO and take their advice on um, on who should receive the virus first. Uh, so you can see that the cells actually die in the progression of infection. And so that's how we know the virus is happening. And we've used the same test on that material that we use in patients to assess the level of virus to, so that we know that the burden of virus or the amount of virus present is going up. And so we can prove that the virus is growing.